Marchenko. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper Dion. I'm Henry Larson. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. I'm the most guilty of playing freely during practice, but then going to pieces during the match and playing very passively. This new app by Apeak Tennis, it changed the game. One session and I was already hitting with more controlled aggression on the court. If you spend 5 to 15 minutes of focused time utilising Apeak Tennis, then over time you will expand your mental skills and start playing great during competition. A-Peak Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Layer, who helped 17 athletes become world number one, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Carrier, Monica Seles, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At A-Peak, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable. For less than $6 a month, build annually, you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process. Plus, this offer comes with an additional seven day free trial. So if you are unhappy, you can cancel for free. AP Tennis is already used by so many top US college teams and top players. Tennis is full of fine margins. With AP Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage. AP Tennis, take care. Of up there. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. It's the women's draw preview for Roland Garros. Hope you like that little promo from new sponsor of the channel, A Peak Tennis. They deal with everything to do with your mental health in tennis and can really help you improve your match on the tennis court during match play. Isn't that right, JG? Yeah, I highly recommend downloading it. You get a seven-day free trial. It supports the channel. And of course, it is a very, very good app. We only really do collaborations with apps we feel uh, we like and has some positive influence on the world. And these certainly do do that. Uh, Ben's been using it, playing me, and he's been putting the play in a better player, which I am. And it's helped him. I mean, he come very close. He was 5-3 serving for the first set after using it just once. So I don't know if it's a placebo effect or if something crazy happened, but it definitely did work. So highly recommend using it. Just give it a little trial. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video. Yes, I'm excited for this one. We had the men's draw preview yesterday. If you haven't seen that yet, it is a good one. So go check that one out. Uh, that's just on our channel. And I'm going to post a little snippet later on of the big quarterfinal matchup, uh, just in case people don't want to trawl through it and find the potential Rafa Novak matchup. But this one, it's all about, not about a foot, this one is about uh, a pole in pole position on the tour and can anybody stop her? She's got the real tough draw, really, really tough. But can Eager continue the unbeaten streak that she's currently on? Oh, it's going to be a tough one, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, probably, I was going to even say this to you. You know how my sort of alliances with sort of men's tennis have sort of been, I don't know, it's been tough for me since Andy Murray uh, fell from the top of the game. And I've sort of found myself in sort of no man's land trying to pick somebody to really support. And with no, the big three, I find eager, like, it's a bit strange. Like, I'm drawn to her more I have like stronger feelings towards her than I do towards any of the big three and it's a bit of a crazy feeling like for me because I don't really get big on players from overseas yeah. that often in my life just that, you don't really have favorites like that you had Andy no. Murray but it's great that Eager's doing this for you she is a special talent she's won 28 matches in a row she's won so many masters in a row now she's only won the one grand slam which was Roland Garros uh not last year the year before 
Krachikova is the reigning champion here. She is back. We've not seen her since February. We don't yeah. know what to expect for her. The second seed coming into this one. Uh, but Iga's the big story. And I am really excited to get into this draw preview. We were talking about the men's yesterday. And I know we've got uh, Almino in. Uh, saying I haven't watched the men's prediction yet. But I heard you guys were bickering a lot on that one. <laughs> And yes, we were. There was there was a few heated debates, to say the least. We're going to be posting a snippet of that later on. Um, and this one, if I'm honest, I don't think it's going to get as heated. I really don't, because with this, there just seems to be eager and the rest of the fl rest of the play. Um, there yeah. doesn't seem to be the four contenders like there is on the men's. We've got Nadal, Djokovic, Sister Pass, and Alcaraz. Um, with this, it just seems to be uh, <laughs> eager and the rest. However, there is some names which I want to uh, make a note of. On Jabur, she's looking great. Yeah. Won a Masters. Got to the final against Iga. Played quite well as well and still lost in straight sets, but was encouraging. Sakri, semi-final here last year. Uh, could go one better. I think she's looking good at the moment. Uh, as yes, much as I don't is. want John Silk to, to beat me in the bet we had off stream, which is that Ons Jabur is going to have uh, finish higher in the rankings than Sakri. Um, not sure how that one's going to play out. Close. And of course, Kladchika are coming back. I don't know. Radu Khan are looking good on the clay. I think Andriescu is an exciting prospect uh, and sort of my dark horse before I've even looked at the draw. Uh, but let's get straight into it. And the best place to start is with this, Ben. Indeed, it is. The TNNS app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, then you must download it because this is what we're doing our fancy brackets on. And you can win $500 for the women's and $500 for the men's. So you could walk away with $1,000 in prize money after both of these tournaments uh, have finished. Um, there's no reason not to enter. It's free to enter. All you have to do is just go on the app store, uh, jump on there, type in TNNS. Again, it's the fantasy button at the bottom of the screen. And then just find the Game to Love League as well. Join our league and see if you can beat myself and beat JG as well. Yeah, I was giving it the big one on the men saying I'm going to win it. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure. I don't think I'm going to come close on the WTA one. But best of luck, everyone who does enter. I'm going to be honest. I would love to see one of our regulars win this one. Just one yeah. of the people we always see in the live chat. Maybe like a Gene or Alexia or an Almino. We've got Ray in as well. Kaz, I wouldn't mind. Cross-court ten cross cross court tennis. Uh, one of these guys. Listen, I want one of you to win this whole thing. Um, I'm going to be cheering for you more than me and Ben. I'm going to win the men's, but I'll let you have the women's. Oh, good to me. I don't mind. As long as I can get one, I'd be impressed. Uh, normally, my brackets, as long as I, I forgot to enter either both of the women's last week, which means you've got 2-0 two, two and oh against me there, which is a bit disappointing. But after seeing some of the results, I don't think I would have done very well anyway. So um, maybe we could use that new function that... Uh, tennis were telling us about there is an autofill function and apparently using this for the women's actually gets you better results than actually picking yourself so i might be yeah. using that for the for the future draw previews i'll just let jg talk and i'll just hit <laughs> autofill yeah uh, it's funny Ben says that the creator of this app the guy behind it all he often enters the women's brackets and what he does is just press autofill and he finds he gets a better score when he presses that than when he actually thinks about it and puts mad. in the bracket so um, it does work not completely random. If you are to press autofill, it looks at some different algorithms and head-to-head matchups and seeds and different variables to work out a matchup. So you're not going to just get like sort of, I don't know, chances of you're an not going to get Shunk winning the whole thing, basically. Well, she's not even in it. So you're definitely not getting Shunk winning. She's out in the last round of qualifying. One of my qualifiers to watch tumbles <laughs> by the wayside. That was the risk. The, I put a risk in picking someone who's not yet qualified in my quali qualifiers to watch. The risk. Are you left with two? Minutes. So Ben's left with two qualifiers to watch. Let's get into the qualifiers. So Sad. just as a recap, let's see all of the qualifiers, Ben. Yeah, let's have a look at all of these uh, qualifiers. Oops, sorry, this one. So here they are. So we've got in. Baptiste, we've got Adina Barra, we've got Bjorkland, we've got Bonaventure, we've got Buxa, we've got Contreras Gomez. Don't know much about her at all. We've got Danilovic, no. we've got Gramma. Well, this is one for you, Ben, to pronounce. Yeah, Grammatica Pulu. There we go. Perfect. We've got Krunic, we've got Marino, we've got Niemeyer, we've got yeah. Noskova. Come on, number one. 
Noskova, for those who don't know, is my number one qualifier to watch. We have Selekemetova, we've got Tizarenko, we've got Vekic, we've got Zoo, we've got all these great qualifiers. Uh, Vekic is my number two, and my number three was, uh, you have to scroll up. Neymar. Is it there? Neymar is near number three. Neymar. Oh, they're all there, all yeah. of my ones. And you've got Tizarenko left and yeah, just Neymar. Neymar. Yeah, that's okay. it, mate. My number three tumbled out to Hayley Baptiste. Uh wasn't an easy last round match, but I thought she might be able to get it done. But never mind. And Serenko, as we know, you'll find out who she's playing in her first round match. So um, let's get on to the past winners, though. Uh, no, let's this, get into oh. who they're going to be playing. Oh, okay. as well. We're not going to jump. That. We're not oh, jumping okay. the gun, Ben. We're doing the same as what we did on the men's. And I, I want to gonna... see who Noskova's got. Is it a big draw? Is it someone she can beat? I don't know, mate. I think could have a work cut out for her. Right, here we go. Here are the, who the qualifiers are playing. <laughs> Viontek for Serenko. So, so one sorry. of Ben's qualifiers, Drew Eager. And I, listen, when I saw that, I was laughing so hard. I knew one of our, one of us was going to get Eager yeah, as our qualifiers to get pitted against. And you've got Tezarenka. I like you regret picking her. Well, it's like yours in the men's. You had Offner, but playing Zverev. And then we knew that that was one of the ones everyone wanted yeah. to avoid. So uh, it's just frustrating. Well, look, Kalanina, uh, that's who Shunk would have been playing Kalanina as well. So it's yeah. like ter both terrible draws for what would have been my ones going down. I think the big one, we're not seeing it there on the screen yet, but there it is. Ooh, I'll just reveal it at the bottom. Noskova versus Radu Karni. For those who don't know, wow. Noskova 17 years old. So she's a young gun, younger than Radu Kanu, and she won Roland Garros last year as a junior. So she's got some pedigree here. She's coming yeah. into this one after qualifying, looking good on the clay court, and I'm hoping for big things from her. I think she's a future uh, real big talent on the tour from Czech Republic. Watch out for Nozkova. And then the other one that we both have, I believe she's on the next list. Neem, oh, oh, apologies. Is, is there a, do I have to go down? Yep. Just okay. go down. There you go. So we've got Niemeyer there, right at the bottom yeah. against Sloane Stevens. Not the worst. Not the worst. It could be could be better. But uh, I think that she could have enough in the tank to get Sloane out of there. Uh, it could be a lot better, though, to be fair. There's there's a lot there's a lot of ones that I'd have picked. I'd prefer to be playing like Galfi or Hadab Meyer. Maybe even that Bjorklund Beckic. That's one of your ones there. Uh, is, you got Beckic as your second. Is yep. that right? Yeah, I don't think that's an easy matchup though. Bjorklund's been looking pretty good, to be honest, in the qualifiers. Yeah. So not easy, uh, but I think Vekic has it. I think I'm going to do you, mate, on the women's ones, the women yeah, qualifiers. Not, not, well, you've, you've got, got one. one out already. Yeah, <laughs> I've only got one. Home. One's playing you got, so that's pretty much. <laughs> oh, if, if my one does well, then you're doing all right as well because it's your. Yes, yeah, so I've actually <laughs> before a ball's been hit, I've, I've already beaten you on the women's qualifiers, but the men's still up for grabs. Serenka uh, wins the whole thing. <laughs> let's have let's, a look at the previous winners, Ben. <laughs> let's go on to that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We got Renata quickly just saying, "I'm waiting to see Nozkova." Listen, I feel I feel a lot of people have never seen her before, and I've bigged her up so much. Uh, you've got to them. remember, she's playing Radu Kanu. Ben's not seen her. It's going to be really fascinating. We're going to be cover, covering the match. Yeah. Um, apologies to all the Radu Kanu fans. I'm going to have to be cheering on this cover. Uh, oh. She is my number one qualified. Doesn't matter who was playing. I think you'd still be cheering them on. Wanted, listen, I wanted Radu Kanu to go for a few rounds at Roland Garros. That's the, that's the honest truth. But now, the problem is, people who won't watch this draw preview are going to assume, oh, JG's going against Radu Kanu again. The reason is, it's Noskova. She's my girl. Uh, they're not going to realise that though, are they? Isn't it mad, like how many good players come out of Czech Republic as well? We've had the the Fruvi, uh, was it Fruvitova uh, yeah. sisters as well? Like, there's just so many. Linda and Czech Brenda. That, that's what I mean. And obviously, Klaichikova, the reigning champion, she's from Czech Republic as well. It's a bit mad, like this Kvitova. level. But there's something that doesn't really surprise. Maybe that's over final in 2019. Maybe this is where we need to go next on uh, GTL. Uh, go to the Czech Republic because I feel that that's. We thought it was pretty amazing how many people playing in Croatia. I think it's probably going to be even higher if you go to a, a Czech Republic. To be honest, yeah, it's a real tennis nation. Let's look at the previous winners: Barbara Kachikova, reigning champion, beating Pavlachenka in the final. Uh, it was pretty convincing as well. Um, Iga, 
She won it 2020. We've got Ashley Barty, Simona Halep, Ostapenko, Muguruza, Serena Williams, Sharapova. I mean, listen, look at these names. Just scroll down a little bit, Ben. You can see is every year there's just different winners and different finalists. It's not like the men's at all, is there, where it's just no. Rafael Nadal with the odd Djokovic here and there, sort of in the final. Um, yes. There's just literally a, an array of people. We had Serena Williams and Sharapova sort of thereabouts for a few years. Apart from that, mate, it's just been the who's who. Anyone can win it. Yeah, I'd so say the only person who looks like they're in there a few times is Halep. Like she's won it once and then been to the That's final point, yeah. yeah, a couple of times there. But in recent times, looks like you've got a couple of Czech players in there, Vondrasova, Klaichikova. But yes, yeah, very much potluck, isn't it? Um, hopefully, well, I'm sure Eager's hoping that she can create a Rafa style, uh, well, leaderboard here and then make it just a big Polish flag down this side for the next it few could, years. It could be. It could be. Uh, let's have a little look up. Yeah. Some of the up older to... names. Uh, Schiavione, the Italian. I remember that one. Uh, Henin, she was Oops, pretty so. good here. Capriati won it in 2001, beating Crashes in the final. Um, Steffi Graf, 99. So and she won a few, right? How many did yeah. she, she win? I don't know in total. Quite a few. Yeah, bare, bare amounts. Look at it, cause you keep going back. Yeah. She's still winning. We go all the way back, all the way back to Navratilova. I, I didn't the venues, do... these ones. That's it. Um, now we go back a bit further. Oh, here yeah. we go. <laughs> These are the <laughs> ones. That... Yeah. <laughs> Who's interested... the first person to win now? Because you looked at we did it on the men's. Well, look, you can see. And just for people, do you remember the name? Was it S Briggs or something? H Briggs. H yeah. Briggs won it on the men's, and he was a British guy. Didn't Living... know his first name. No one right. knew who his first name was. This one, it was just all French French women. Yeah, it's just literally just seems the French just dominant. It was all just French versus French. It looks like for the first 20 years maybe even longer and then a finally a brick got into the f final kitty mccain godfrey look at that the first uh, other yeah, she than got eager though look at her yeah. six on six two <laughs> by suzanne longlan obviously Ooh. the court named after look how many she's won as well look at that she had a great stretch there winning it six times out of seven years there pretty impressive well, nice there you go. We've got That's Anko and saying H Briggs settling the goat debate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a new song coming out, the H Briggs song coming out very soon. Anyway, take that off. And let's get into the draw proper. Uh, make sure everybody that you remember to enter your brackets. I'm going to be trying to remember to do mine so that I don't miss the whole thing. It's always a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to do it straight after. If, uh, please remind me. Right. Yeah, I'll give you a reminder. So everyone, download TNNS, Apple or Android, free to play. You can win $500 on this one. First up, the number one seed is going to be Iga Savante on this crazy run. And right at the bottom, we've got Barbara, Barbara Krajcikova. Yeah. Um, so let's get into it. Ben's qualifier to what? Surely you have her going through a few rounds. <sighs> Tezarenko, does she beat Iga? I feel like if she didn't have Iga, she might win or at least get to the final. <laughs> but because it's eager, I'm sorry, uh, Serenko. Oh, you're knocking out your qualifier already. It's I mean, why sad, pick her if you're going to knock her out first round? I've just there's part of me that wished that, even though it didn't work work last time when we even knew who they were playing, and I tried to be clever, it still backfires when we don't know who they're playing as well. So I don't think I can win either way. All right. So Alison Risk, Yastremska. I'm going to go Yastremska. Yeah, I think I've got to have at least one Ukrainian going through. I can't just knock them all out, can I? Go on, I'll let you fly through a few of these. Right, Schmeidlova versus Kucheva. I'm going to go Schmeidlova here. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to go Kucheva. That's a tough one. We've got, oh, this one's actually a real tough matchup. Samsonova versus Danka Kovinic. Kovinic has actually been playing quite well. I'm, has I'm Samsonova, Samsonova. Has Samsonova tricked us? I still don't know if it was a like a one tournament she was wonder. So good that day. I know. I think we've like we've still got that in our minds. I go Kovinic then. Nah, I don't think she's on the same level. Are you gonna yeah. copy me? All right. Halep Simona to... Halep to beat Kunya. I like yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go King Wing Zhang to beat Zanevska. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end with you on that. This I'm gonna is go your A. <laughs> this is my sort of one to watch. Watch out for her. It's in France. She's gonna, she's gonna beat Misaki Doi. Yeah, I think so. Ostapenko to beat Blonzetti. 
Yep, I'll take that. Although Ostapenko's not really transitioned to the clay. And I mean, so far, we're just going for all favourites here, I've noticed. That doesn't mm. happen. I mean, you need to be a bit more. Just remember what you're doing, Ben. Don't get roped into it again. I know. I know. I've, Ostapenko, I've, she could I'm lose to Bronzetti. To... Wouldn't it be that shocking? Well, she's Ostapenko is not on a very good run. She's lost her last five matches, I think. Six That's matches. What I'm saying. So, <laughs> did you see Sophia Kenin the other day? That clip I sent you. No, I haven't seen that. Sorry. You don't. I feel like you don't watch anything I send you. I, you I send me send so it, much. You, you like it's like cl- in amongst like a thousand things. And you like, do you look at it? Like, Basically, she was playing. And she just didn't run for it. Like, and she was just standing oh. there. She was walking around. Didn't care. It was terrible. She's probably like going to get fined. Like me in the sun. Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to go Pagula to knock out Wang. Pagula could have a good run here. Yeah, Kalanina to knock out Baptiste. Yep. I'm going to Sharif to knock out Kostyuk. Oh, that's a big call. I'm going Kostyuk. I'm not having that. Say it as you see. I'm not having that Kostyuk slander. I like Kostyuk, but Sharif's been playing well recently. I think that she could do it. It's a dance semi finalist last year. Yeah. Put that into perspective. Semi finalist last year. I know, but. Who's going to be this year's semi? It's going to be some crazy name. I just know it. Yeah, it's going to be like Claire Lou. Maybe. We've got Gene saying Bronzetti to beat Ostapenko. I think that's, listen, it's not a crazy call. I can see it happening. It's mad to think Ostapenko's actually won Roland Garros as well. Bit bizarre, isn't it? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go, go Alexandrova. I'm going to go Paolini. I'm going to go Begu here. Are we going to go Gene Gene? For Gene in the chat? Gene, do what you say. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going Paris. That's the, so you're uh... knocking Gene Gene out. The <laughs> Sorry, world Gene. <laughs> knocking you out, Gene. Knocking him out. Yeah, I'm going to have Paddy's as Diaz as well. Sorry, Gene. This is the big one. Is it? Yeah, Pliskova versus Andrian Jadvitrimo. I've actually been following her, some of her progress, weirdly enough, like uh, just because I saw that she had a good run. But I don't think she's very hot. She's like ITF level. I'm going Pliskova. She's been doing all right. She lost to Yuvan yesterday. No. Uh, but I still feel like she's beaten a few good players this week. She beat Kostya and Pera this week. Oh, Fiona Fair. I mean, this Ooh. is actually a tough first round match. I mean, they it could is. have been a lot easier wild cards. Fiona Fair, as we know, after Roland, uh, after the COVID, she was the best player coming back out of it. She won, I think it was Palermo, straight off the bat. Yes. And she yeah. was playing great. She had a clay court in her house and she was just looking great. Played through COVID. And was unstoppable. So Since this is then, a tough match for Badoza. But I'm going to have Badoza beating her. Yeah, I feel like she really fell off though. She went like, uh, and now she's she's playing yeah. just ITFs these days. And not, yeah, it's and good. it's that's a bit of a fall from grace. Maybe she just caught everybody cold when everyone came back from COVID. I'm going to have Yuvan here. Yep. Sorry, I don't really know. Um, I'm going to go rack them over. Okay. Rack them up. Yep. I'm going to go Kudometova to knock out Zoo. Me too. I'm going to have Kalin Skyer knocking out Madison Keys here. Why is that then? Don't know. Quite like a bit of Callan Sky. I think I'm has, not. Has Keys been playing? I don't know. I'm just going off gut. For this one. Yeah. Well, you don't always do that. So let's have a look. In the Italian Open, she lost. Yeah. No, I'm having Madison Keys. Okay. She's going to beat Callan Sky. She's lost her last three. Okay. It might be a good call. Who knows? Um, yeah. Taylor Townsend versus Gar- I'm gonna go with the French. If in doubt, go with the French. <laughs> Taylor Townsend. <laughs> Who did she beat recently? I think um probably one of my players. I was watching, I think she's put on a bit of weight. Oh no. Um You're not fat shaming Taylor Townsend, are you? No, but I'm not sure what, what she's been playing ITF. She's, she just won an ITF. Uh she beat some okay players in there. I'm gonna well. put Taylor Townsend through. Go on. Wow, the home crowd aren't gonna Big like one. you. No, no. She could do that. Volley a bit beating Volley Nets. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with that. I'm going to go Rubikina. Same. Collins. Yeah. A Tom Rogers. Over's a lucky loser. Um, I'm going to go Martin Sova here. Okay. I'm going to go Udvardi here. I can't even see the name of this. This is the one that we don't really know much about. Contreras Gomez. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not very familiar. I might, I'm, I might take a punt. 
I'm go. I don't know who you are, but I'm just gonna have a little. Yeah, I'm going to run. Vardy for Jamie Vardy. Do it for I'm... Jamie. <laughs> Great <laughs> reason to pick someone. But this one, we didn't know who this Contreras Gomez is. By the end of the tournament, we might all know who she is. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, listen, I don't know. I don't know much about her either, actually. Kasat Keener, I'm going to have to beat Peterson. Yep, me too. Oh, no. It's one of my I'm old... Zang. I'm definitely I'm... going Zhang. I'm knocking Georgie out first round. I'm, I'm sick oh, of her. No, no. I, I prefer her on the clay. I'm not going to... I think her lie. attitude stinks, man, at the moment. I don't think she's interested in tennis. I can't see her going very far. I think she's... Apologies to Gary if he's listening. I know he has Georgie oh, winning most big... events. Oh, don't. Every time I put her through, she I loses Gary her. Gary fancies her, to be honest. Oh, no. He's stitching Gary up in the live chat. What's going on? He's going to watch oh, this. We're getting, it, we're getting into Roran Garros time now, <laughs> mate. The Nadal-Djokovic rivalry is uh, alive and kicking. That's true. Right, this one. I know one of your favourites, Arena Barra. She's Straight up against Putin. <laughs> Start with the door. Uh, this part of me thinks that she's like, we're going to write her off after that performance we saw from her and she's going to just somehow win matches. I don't get how she's doing it. One of the it. worst matches I watched, actually, and she she won. But it was, it was the, terrible. The level was terrible just, quality. It was just like moon balls and just yeah. the softest hitting. Maybe they were, they were both injured. I'm not sure. It was pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to have... This is bad for Brengo. I'm going to have <laughs> Buzzaresca, the lucky loser, knocking her out. Well, even with the, the flat serve from yeah, Brengo? Yeah, lucky loser's taking it. I don't know about that, mate. Didn't I can't... we watch the Buzzaresca play against Serena Williams here at Roland Garros last year? I, be, I, I remember watching her play, yeah, for sure. I don't know if she's as good as she was playing last time. I'm going Brengel because I think she's she's not playing as well as when she when we were sort of big on her last year. I'm going to go Saba, Ons. <sighs> yeah, pick themselves. Trevisan to beat Dart. Sorry, Dart. Savo. I'm going to be picking Grammatical Pulu here. Oh, maybe you should have had her as a qualifier to watch then. I was told you I was thinking about it. It was a weird one because I went shunk because I was thought maybe the 19. I saw her. She played all right in one of the. Pre- that's, right. that's a bad one. I know. It's not good. That one. is the scat off this year. If John Silk is listening, <laughs> make sure you include shunk. shunk in the first episode because it is a terrible pick from Ben. Didn't even get through the qualifiers. Mm. You're not watching her, are we? She's out. <laughs> shunk. She shunked it up, didn't she? Right, down to the next one. Kvitova versus Bondar. Could we see a Czech player falling? Why well, might have used to knock out a seed, mate? You have all your seeds out, flying. No, they're all flying through. Kvitova likes... The one, two, three, four. You just know it's I don't happening. Think I don't think I'm going to have Kvitova going out that early. No, he's a seed. Put, put her through. you got her going out? No, I've got Kvitova as well. Oh, okay, weird. Kerber, some people were saying maybe a potential dark horse for the whole entire tournament. Hey, Do you think that's possible? No, but I'll put her through this round. It's a nice draw. Isn't she just, has she just been playing in Strasbourg? She's into the final there. I'll have I'm putting Kerber win. through. Yeah. I'm actually going to go Giacomo to knock oh, out Watson. I think that's horrible. <laughs> that, oh, that's a bit, that is a bit of an upset for the books. I I'm not a lot. I'm not outstanding for that. Yeah, Joe Giacomo is actually Roland Garros junior champion as well. There's part of me that just sort of agrees with you, and I just feel bad. I don't really want to go against, but she just got double breadsticked off Lynette. Uh, I think I'm going with you. No. <laughs> so apparently Bondar's retired. Ah, oh, what? She from just tennis? retired from a match. Oh. Um, well, we have her going out anyway. So yeah, fine. so it's all good. <laughs> Thanks for that information. Sasnovich versus which Wang have we got here? Zin, we, Zin Yu Wang. I think, um, I don't know if that's the No, I'm going Sasnovich. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, just go off your top. Oh, we got the big one. Here we go. It's the big one. No guesses for who I've got to pick from this one. I'm not going to be putting JG's qualifiers. Yeah, listen, Ben, through. listen, don't just dismiss her like that. You don't know anything about her. So she's an unknown exactly. entity. Radu Khani won the US Open as a bit of an unknown. What? So you've got to win in the whole thing. This is just announced. We don't even need to finish the draw <laughs> preview. JG has an Oscar of winning. I think she could. I, mate, listen, I've not watched her that many times and there's some very bad results in there. <laughs> 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 Can she beat Radu Khani? 
I'm not sure. It's a really tough draw. But listen, I have to put Noskova through because I've been bigging her up. I don't think this is the wise selection to be doing. Gene's um, in. He's like, Noskova to beat Emma. Listen, I'm I'm, I've, I've, I've been, I can't big something up that much and not go with it. So I'm going to have to stick with it. I'm going Noskova to win. And listen, the draw opens up nicely. Might even take out yeah. Sasnovic as well. Well, I'm off the nos. JG hates the British. Confirmed. <laughs> All of the Brits going out. <laughs> JG's bracket. Well, I might have one Brit going through. Do we have any Ooh. left? I don't think so. I think they're all out, yeah. Yeah, sadly. It's a classic JG bracket. Bit of Brit hate in there. Love it. Oh, I'm right. not sure you'll have Emma winning the whole thing anyway, so... You know me. God, how can she not win it? That's what I want to know. Well, listen, I'm, I'll be... If you don't put Emma to at least the quarters, then you're just a bit of a fraud. Because you always say to me... Emma in a Grand Slam is a different prospect. She never loses Grand Slam yeah, matches. she did great She's in so Australia. She's so good in Grand Slams. She did great in Australia. She had blisters, Ben. You made a big excuse for it. Oh, well, it's she terrible. Have, she you might have blisters in this blisters. tournament Oh, she's going to have blisters again, is she? Maybe. Another injury. Oh. Injured heart, maybe, or injured ego this year, I reckon. Let's move on. Should probably pick up another sponsor from, well, first round win. Or maybe even just a close first round match. Who knows? Uh, Benchich to knock out Yanni, the lucky loser. Uh, Andriescu to knock out Bonaventure. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Just gave it a little bit of a twang. Uh, Sinjakova Martic. I'm having Martic to knock out Sinjakova here. Yeah, me too. Big on the Croatians since coming back. Um, Big up the Yanni. Big up the Yanni. Madlenovic, yeah? She's one of your top... I'm putting <laughs> Leila... Listen, I'm glad it's Madlenovic. I don't like her either. So I'm going Leila Annie French. Fernandez. You're not a big Fernandez fan, so I wouldn't be surprised if you have her knocked out here. Let's have a look. Why? I, I, I like Fernandez. What are you talking about? Yeah. I had her going what? deeper in tournaments than you recently. Listen, if Radu Kanu meets Fernandez in your bracket, I'm really fascinated to see what oh. you're actually going to do. Uh, I think. Are you a man of your word or are you going to bottle it? Are you going to stick with your convictions? Wait and see, won't we? Yeah. Who's got the most bottle on the clay courts? Well, let's see how much bottle you have here. Naomi Osaka and Isimova. And Isimova. <laughs> he don't like Osaka at all. Not on clay, I don't. <laughs> what? Yeah, but you're really dismissive of her, man. She's doing press conferences this year. I was just watching her. Oh, really? oh, okay, I changed my mind. Osaka definitely wins. Oh. <laughs> I'm going I was with watching Anish- that she was. She said she thought it was a dream, and then she got <laughs> faced against the Nisimova. Oh no, a nightmare! I forget what, what did she say exactly, guys. What was her exact terminology? But she was saying something in the press conference, and I was laughing quite a bit. Um, she, she could win, but I've not even seen her play on the slow clay courts yet this year. She's only played Madrid, and she lost to Cerebres Tormo there in straights. I don't know. For me, Anisimova, she's done pretty well. In Rome, she had three convincing wins and took Saba to three as well. So I'm going to go. I'm going to have Saka knocking out oh, Anisimova. Here. There's always. She's ready. She's pumped. She's always famous as Saka. Go, go Never me. change. I've never seen Saka go out first round in a JG bracket. So much. Well, you Radu have, Kanu yeah. go. Asaka favoured above uh, Radu Kanu. Every bracket, right? I'm gonna be having Bjorkland to not. Oh, that's there. just yeah, you're, you're so childish, man. You do realize you are childish because <laughs> you're only that. doing that to go against me. There's Hell no yeah, reason why to... you're going Bjorkland, yeah. But I want to cheer Bjorkman up. I, so you, okay, so you just want me to lose, <laughs> right? you, just, that, you don't no. even care about my picks. That's basically what you're saying. What do you mean? No, I thought she played well in her qualifying matches, mate. What are you talking okay. about? Have you not oh, been watching her recently? She just oh, Donna Vekic is doing her anyway. Qualified to watch for a reason. Auckland won Orlando ITF recently, very impressively. <sighs> okay. I know. Well. Okay. Anyway, moving down. Uh, I'm gonna go Mukova here. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry. Not Clara Burrell, your girl. A bit French. Could we have an early seed tumble? I don't think so. Zarko is playing really well. I'll have Contavi. That's a tough one, though. That's not a nice draw and for Contavi at all, is it? It's a horrible draw for Annette Contavi. I think I might have an upset. Ooh, Ben's yeah. got a seed going out. I think I'm going to have an upset here. Sorry to Gene. Four, Sorry for this, Gene. I know you're going to hate me, but it's, one, it's his girl. 
the Contevit and one that I really like, but I just got a weird feeling. Tomjanovic is a horrible draw for people. She can she's like a bogey player. Fair enough. I was close. Um Buzkova, Lauren Davis. I'll have, Did you have Sharma or Kratova? I said Sharma. Okay. I'll go Sharma as well. Right, Lauren Davis versus Bowles Culver. I'm going to go in Bowles Culver. Or oh. mm. Serus <laughs> versus Mertens. I think uh, Mertens, go on then. She, oh, what's she been doing? What is she lose, been up Losing to you, Van. <laughs> I mean, I've not seen Elise Mertens. She's played doubles in Strasbourg. Didn't even play any singles. She right. played doubles in Istanbul. She played doubles in Miami. I mean, when was the last time she played she singles played, match? She did play. She played. Uh, she lost to Pera in. Uh, no, sorry, that's Ruse. Uh, she lost to Yuvan in Strasbourg. She would beat Monet, Fleetsam, oh, okay. and then lost to Yuvan. But the first. Oh real yeah, sorry, test. I'm on the sing. Yeah, I was on the wrong bit. So Strasbourg, <laughs> yeah, she did beat. Yeah, Not the know. best players though. Just don't know. She lost to Pettersson, Walkover in Istanbul. Oh, Ruse. I'll go Mertens just for okay. a round. I like right. Coco Goff here. Yep. Definitely, I like. Can we go Anne Lee. I'm going to go Van Utvank here. Sorry, Anne Lee. Meyer. I've still got flashbacks from then. Anne Lee let me down at the last tournament. Um, Haddad Meyer. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go Haddad Meyer as well. No, actually, I'm changing that. I'm going to go Buxer. Okay, this is a big one. Kanepi Mugurusa then. <laughs> It is a big one. Oh my word! I forgot that. I forgot on. this. This was one of the matches. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think. <sighs> my God, this is horrible. Mugalutsa's what? Where did she play? Played in Morocco, didn't she recently? Well, I'm going to cut straight to. It. I'm going to go Kaikanepi to knock her out. Oh, I don't know if I'm brave enough. Mate, it's more good. <laughs> no, nah. she's done out, mate. She's I'm gonna. Done. I don't. I don't know. I think Yo, she can win a match. I don't oh, know how. Mate. I don't think she's gonna go that far. Well, you're I gonna think... have a bit of books her as well. You're gonna have her a little run. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna find. Oh, no, she's gonna end somewhere. up in the final, probably. That's, that's, this was, you know, that always happens. Mate, she just sucks this year. I agree with cross court tennis. I'm not having her. <laughs> so they're gonna be people shouting at her from the crowd as well. So they give it to Osaka. They've got to give it to Mugalutsa as well. Right, Azarenka to knock out Bogdan. Mm. I'm going to have Ocean Dodin to knock out Petkovic here. No, I'm going to go Bogdan. Azarenka can go out as well. What? Kicking out Azza? Wait, let me just see what Bogdan's been up to because if she's been pretty terrible, I'm not doing it. Uh, she's been all right. She lost to Haddad Meyer, but she won three matches before that. Then it. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll have Bogdan then. Um, all right. I'll go Dodd. No, I'll go Petkovic. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Danilovic. Same here. Teichman. Same here. Sestaya. Always on the JG bracket. Sestaya. The Maria's probably... a good pick if you was brave enough. I don't know. There's part of me that I don't know how. I We covered her on a watch along, didn't we? There's, we've got a button for her. I mean, we've watched her. She's not bad. I don't think she's good enough to to convince you. She's lost her last two matches as well, so I don't know. But Sestay's lost her last four, so I don't know. Pick your poison. Well, I'll go Nemo here. My qualified to watch. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, Ryan Serrano <laughs> and Krachikov up on the bottom. Yeah. Diane Parry. No one's favouring Diane to no. take over. What's Diane done recently? Lost to Kerber in straights, lost to Freck. And the last time we saw Klaichikova was in Doha on the hard. The last time we saw Klaichikova... It would be hard for Klaichikova because she doesn't really get the crowds anyway. And playing a French person in the first round is always just not a nice draw. I don't think it's Paris. the worst person to be playing, though, to be honest. Yeah, it could uh, be a lot I'm, worse French players. Yeah, I'm going to have Klaichikova going to... The last time she played on clay, though, was the final of Roland Garros last year. That's a bit mad, isn't it? Yeah, right, let's strange. get back to the top. We feel like we're sort of slowly getting through this. Now we can start firing a few of these off. Right, Iga. We've got two Ukrainians in a row. Is she going to be putting more heart ache into the Ukrainians at the moment? I think she is. She's knocking another one out. Yeah, me too. I'll have Samsonova, 
Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Halep. Yep. Ostapenko. I'm going to have Cornet. <laughs> so you're going bigger on Cornet than me. Yeah. I've got no, it's in front. Well, I just feel like there's. Ostapenko could go out first round as well here. So you've got to take that into account. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Pagula here. Let me have a little look. All right. Kalanina. Kalanina's good, but I still feel Pagula's better. So Kalanina beat Madison Keys. Madison Keys. Beat Rowdy Carney, didn't she? Kalanina. JG's head. Rent free. Might go Kalanina. Yeah. I'm going to go Kalanina, yeah. Kalanina. I'm going to have Zidansic here as well. Zidansic, eh? I think I'm going to go Sharif. Okay. Another C. Goes... Zidansic likes it here, though. As you said in the early parts of this, we never see the same names twice. So I don't think we're going to see her name there again. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this is uh, what I'm going to go over here. Yes. Um, I'm going to go Pliskova. I love this. JG's newfound love for Carolina Pliskova. <laughs> I'm doing the same. I feel that she's got enough, probably too much for Perez Astiaz. Doza could head out against Kaya Yuvan. That is a real big match. Kaya Yuvan playing so well. Will she be tired, though? She's uh, into Maybe a, a little bit. That's what I mean. Like, Badoza's rested up a little bit. She hasn't been looking that good, though, I don't think, Badoza of late. Uh, I'm going to put Badoza one. through this one. I've, I've got to, I feel. I feel like um, people are going to get on my back. I keep saying you have to. You don't have to do anything. Just because you picked her as world number one, doesn't mean well, you I have want to win. You don't I have to have her win in every single bracket. Or I want final. her to. I want her to do well. Yeah, but this is not about wanting. This is not about desires, Ben. This is about winning five hundred dollars and keeping That's your true. house heated in these very difficult months uh, in the, the UK street. at the moment. It's, well, it's true. The cost of it's living about paying is paying the rent, Ben. It's not about who you want. But those is going to be on the street. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So I have to write to her. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna to have me. good of a tova here. Yeah, I've got her as well. I've got Madison Keys. Oh, this is the one we've got slightly different. I've got Callan Skyer versus Caroline Garcia. Yeah, mine's all American. Madison Keys, Taylor Townsend. <laughs> <laughs> um Garcia. I don't really I don't even know what's been happening. I think I'm gonna Callan Sky. I'm gonna stick with it for a bit. Yeah, look, we've got cross court tennis and face it, Ben. She's not gonna be world number one. I mean, it's already <laughs> done, so why are you caring so much? We know Eager's gonna be world number one. There's no chance anyone's How not gonna dare be you. She's already Stop wrapped ruining. up. She Stop. didn't play for the rest of the year, she's still gonna be world number one. I'm into but those are one roll on Garros. All right, well, you can keep dreaming. Let's see. I hope you put Badoza to win Roland Garros. I know you're not going to, though. I know you're not going to, though. I hope you put Noskova to do it. But I'm going to have Rubikina to beat Goliubic. Yeah. Right, moving down. Daniel oh. Collins for me. Yeah, I feel like her draw is quite good, to be honest. Collins here. I'll have Cassad Kina. <laughs> <laughs> Do I put Contreras Gomez to again? I, I, I've not... I've not... <laughs> <laughs> just for the just for the bands, I feel like Kasakina. So you know, I just want to hear John Silk say I'll talk about her on the Silk Report. Oh, yeah. Kasakina. Um I'm gonna have <laughs> you <Yulia. Kasakina. laughs> putting Saber knocking out Georgie. Uh, uh Saba yeah. knocking out Brangles. The Brangle. Brangle. Yeah, go on. Saba to beat Buzanareska. I'll have Jabur to beat Televizan. Talking about Aunt Jabur. I'm going to have, no, nah, I don't think Grammatical Pula has got enough. I, she's, she's a good player. She's just not that powerful for me. I feel that Kvitova has got much more power. Mate, I might be knocking Kvitova out here. Who with? I know how these Stavl. draws, I know how these draws go. Savile. Just having a look at who Savile's been playing. Okay. What's he been up to? Old Savile. What, what good old Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> not done enough has she really I mean not great on the clay unfortunately I'm going to have to put Kvitova okay no problem Czech player on the clay I think is a good good yeah. bet as well Giacomo versus Kerber though that could be oh, you put Giacomo through as well yeah I did because I said Watson's got a double breadstick in her last match I don't oh, like that 
I know. You're supposed to be supporting the Brits. I know. I've got one going through. I'm going to have Kerber to knock out Giacomo, though. I think Kerber's potential dark horse of the tournament, remember, JG? Everyone's Here we go. This is that. where it gets really exciting because I've got <laughs> Sasnovich, Noskova. Noskova does it again. She's beaten Raducanu. Now she beats Sasnovich. Here comes the Nos. Let's go. I'm going to have Raducanu beating Sasnovich. That's a tough one because you'd have to have a defeat oh, against boring. Sasnovich. Here comes Radu. Why is Radu. that boring? This is Radu. more of a risk. This Here is comes more, Radu. This is more risky than Noskova, I think. You love, oh, you love a bit of Raducanu. She's definitely in your semis. You you get like a, what is it? Like you get sort of like a get out of jail free by just picking Noskova though. It's just like, a, oh, well, she's not supposed to win. So I can put her through as far as I want. Whereas Raducanu, everyone... There's like a bit of a oh, she's making 12 excuses, seed. man. Stop making excuses. We you know just love Radu Khan. You know she's the you, you think she's the best player in the world off stream. That's what you're always telling me. Yeah, that's what I always say. I tell, I tell you my honest I tell you my honest opinions here on the stream. Whereas JG very BBC much ben. very much a uh I don't know, bit of a shill, really. He's just uh <laughs> feeding you all lies okay. on these draw previews. I'm gonna have Andrescu knocking out Ben Chich. Same man. I'm going to have Leila Annie Fernandez knocking out Martic. Go on, the I'm, girl. I'm not having Martic to knock her out. Oh, here he goes. The hatred comes through yet again. We sense it with Rafa on the dial. He's not a fan. He, he pretends to be a bit of a Rafa fan. He's not a fan of Fernandez as well. He much prefers Radu Khan. And yet again, it comes to fruition and he's shown his true colours. He's having Martic knocking out Fernandez. I've gone for the real fairy tale story of two Canadians playing at Roland Garros, Andriescu, Leila well, Fernandez. I'm doing it for my friends of the Slice, my friends of Matchpoint Canada, and uh, all of the great Canadians out there. Yeah, well, let's just remind ourselves of what Martic just did recently. She won uh, four matches in Rome, beat Contevit, beat Mukova, and only just lost to Andriescu. So I think that's a good enough winning run recently to be able to get her past Fernandez. Okay. Anissimova. Uh, this is where Osaka goes through again for JG. So let's wait for this. So I have Naomi Osaka Donovekic. <laughs> so oh, qualified to watch. Surely Vekic, because she's and qualified Osaka. to watch. Uh, unfortunately, my qualified to watch will be going out. I'm going to have Naomi what? Osaka uh, storming through the Roland Garros draw, <laughs> slipping and sliding on the clay. Uh, she's doing press conferences now. Seems she's happier. She's in the final now. She's trying she to go going, for world number one. Is she a final in Madrid? No. Let's I keep believe she on. Won. Let's go back to those no. draws. I think she was <laughs> in the clay won. court final. Did she win the whole thing? out better, that one. Mm, bit weird. JG, the biggest Osaka clay court fan. Uh, probably the only one in the world. All right. Sakri to knock out Mukova. Ooh. I wouldn't skim past this one so quickly. Mm. I do like yes, a bit of Mukova. <laughs> Maria I really do. Um, and on, just Mukova, pick, just pick Sarkari. We know you're doing it. No, I'm having. I'm not. I'm not, just, I'm not like you, Ben. I don't just pick oh. the, the biggest seed. I have a little. Oh, look at oh so okay. So once he's picked Mukova, we'll move on. Mukova, not Ooh. sure. Not sure. Like saying, what's happening to you, JG? <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> No, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go Mukova. I'm going to have Mukova knocking out Sarkari here. Oh, he hates John Silk. This is all it is, is John Silk hatred coming No, it's her. not. I'm just saying, listen, all of you guys saying JG's lost the plot of this and that. Echoes Did you in. not see last year's... Did you not see last year's Roland Garros? I mean, you guys don't ever learn anything. I feel you just always say the same thing. There can yeah. be shocks. Of course, Sarkari is going to be the big favourite. I reckon... Do you know what? I'm going to make a call. I reckon she wins the first set 6-1. I reckon she's 5-2 up in the second, Again. loses 7-5, <laughs> and then loses the third set. That can happen in tennis. It doesn't mean you've got to make some big calls if you want to win the $500, and that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to go over all the seeds. Ben's going to have one, two, three, four in a line. He does it every bracket. That's what he does. That's why he's known as Boring Ben. Well, go I've got probably more seeds going out than you so far. So just because I don't have uh, Maria Sarkri going out, one of the best informed players on the tour at the moment. But if you want to knock her out, that's up to you. Or, I don't think you know. she's got the mental strength. I agree with Capricorn. But let's go. It's the semi-finals last year, so she must have some mental strength. Okay. Contavit Semi versus Sharma. I'm going to have Contavit. 
Uh, I'm going to have Tomjanovic because I've got Contevi out here. It's a big bracket deciding part here. I'm going to go Elise Mertens to beat Bowskova. I'm going to go Bowskova to knock out Mertens. Another seed tumbles on my oh, side. Uh, oh, Ben's 31st seed's cut out. Big oh, shot. Just do a right. news video on it. All right. Well, shock. So Mertens, another one of JG's favourite players going through again. <laughs> he never puts her out. As we know, Coco Goff, I'm going to have going through against Ooh, Bad Bootbank. Don't mind if I do. I'll have Coco going through as well. I'll have Ugh. Kai Kanepi here beating Hadid Meyer. I Take guess I'll have Magulutza. Um, uh, I'm going to go Petkovic hmm. to knock out Bogdan. Okay. I'm going to have... Yeah, I don't think Dodin's at the same level. <laughs> and then I'm going to have the Tyke. No. Oh, I'm gonna have Tyquan as well. Oh, well, well I, don't have, I don't have all these big names. You've gone for all the big names, all the names okay. you love. <laughs> I've, this next one, I'm sure you'll be having Sestaya going through. I've got Neymar going through. I'm gonna go Sestaya here. Oh, shock! JG's bracket has Sestaya going through a few rounds again. And I'm gonna go Krachikova from the bottom. Yeah. Surely, one, yeah, to go two, on then. Three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Mate, <laughs> He's done it. He's I don't think it. it's that simple on this one, is it? It's for you. How? It's just in your name, mate. You can't help it. It's in your blood. <sighs> the jealous guy again, back again. <laughs> what, in the, the live chat? Where's the... I can't no. see it. JG, that's what it stands for, isn't it? Jealous. I'm not guy. jealous of your brackets. <laughs> right. I'll have Eager beating Samson over oh, again. What's not the number one seed? JG with his amazing genius prediction. Uh, I'm right. Go. I'll have I'm going to well. Halep. 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 The yeah. Oh, look, we got the same. He's copying me. Right. Let's I'm move gonna go. I'm going to go Kalanina to beat Zidane Sip. Pagula for me. I'm going to go Alex Androva to beat Pliskova. Nah, not for me. I feel like Pliskova. She's coming to form now, JG. Come on, look. She was your new favourite on the tour. Um, I'm going to go Paula Badoza. What? Well, she was terrible. I'll have Badoza in there. Go on. I'm going to go for Ribikina. This one's a bit of a Ribikina. She's got a nice draw, to be honest. I don't think this is bad. At all. She seems to get a lot. We've got nice exactly draws. the same so far. Okay. No, we don't. You do. I've got Pliskova. Oh, okay, so just Pliskova. Yeah. Bigger seed. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot. Uh, yeah. I'll go Kazad Kina here to beat Daniel Collins. Definitely. Uh, Sabalenka to beat Putin Seva. Yep. Sorry, Putin Seva. I don't <laughs> want to be saving any Putins. here. Yeah. Come on, ons, 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 ons. You're not. You can't claim her. Um, I'll, I'll go. Have... I'm gonna go Noskova here to beat Kerber. I'm going to have so the Nos going through here. So, Radu Kanu, what, Ben? Come on. Oh, my God. She's his favourite player. In a Grand Slam. It's his favourite player. Well, Radu Kanu going to go out in a Grand Slam. Oh, my God. I, I okay. stream. He's telling Let me, me that she was going to win it. So, with this Come matchup, keep this. Kerber, Radu Kanu. God, so with, this... with Kerber, with Kerber Radu Kanu, is Radu Kanu going to pull out with injury or is she just not going to be good enough for Radu Kanu? I don't know. Kerber? I just think that Kerber probably... What's your her? prediction? We're doing some predictions here. So... You reckon she's just going to struggle fit physically, or Kerber's going to be too strong? I think she'll just probably just beat her. She might work. She might get. Is close Kerber a better it. player than her technically? Um, on her day, possibly. Yeah. Okay, so Kerber's a better player than Raducanu. Yeah. She's done more in her career, that's for sure. Oh no, I'm not talking about career. I'm talking about right now. Oh. Better player, Kerber. Don't know. Okay, good soundbite. Let's move on. Cheers for that. Cheers for slowing us down there on the draw preview. Right. Okay. So we'll go to Andreescu Martic. I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going Andreescu here. Yeah. I'm going to have Andreescu as well, beating Leila Annie Fernandez. Um, this one's an interesting one. I've got Mukova Asaka. You've Mukova. got, well, I think and you've this... got Asaka. You've got Asaka going through. I'll so go. I'm actually Asaka... going to have Asaka going out. I'm going to have oh. Mukova what? continuing Asaka's the car. What? going out of JG's bracket. I thought she'd be in the final, mate. No, nah, just put Asaka through, Ben. I'm not sure. I'm just going to have a look at the head to head. No, just put, put Asaka. Put Asaka. I want, no, I want to see what the head to head is first before I make And then you'll, have, then you'll have Asaka Muguruza the next round. Then <laughs> Asaka through again. Come on. Right. Let's have a look. See if I'm they've ever played. 
when did they ever last play on clay? They played in Madrid. It's not much why, to go on. Why are you on, doing that? We've really? got Capricorn saying the Kerber actually has a great chance against Ons. Ooh, see the Kerber love coming in there into the live chat. I think I'm going to have to go. It's a real tough so, decision for me, but I might uh, go Sarkery on this one. It's just something else. Uh, Contevit Mertens. I'm going to go Mertens. Two seeds there. I think you've got there in that. Oh, I've got two unseeded players in mine. I'm going to go Bows Cova here to go through. Okay. Do you have Mertens, you say? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Coco Goff to knock out Kanepi. I've got Coco Goff to knock out Mugalutsa. I'm going to go Tykeman to beat Petkovic. Tykeman to beat Azarenka. And at the bottom, Krajikova. I don't want. I don't even know what Krajikova is going to turn up. I don't even know if she's going to get this far. I'm going to go Neymar to knock out Krajikova. I just don't know if it's if Krajikova is going to be in the draw, mate. I don't know if she's even back. Mate, you just you you really just ended the chances of a one, two, three, four with that. I don't but I don't think that she's gonna to get to the final or semis anyway, Clyde. She's gonna go out, if not in that one, she'll go out in the next one. Well, okay, so the next she's round back is to an elbow injury, you realise. The round of sixteen we're at now. So the yeah, round yeah. of sixteen. Eager versus Hallop, massive matchup. It's uh, huge. Two players who do well at Roland Garros. Yeah. Eager in the mate the mental form. Is Halep, the person who can stop Eager's Ram. Let us know in the live chat as well. Has Patrick got some tricks up his sleeve to defeat Eager? That's the question. It'd be interesting to see. Uh, and the head-to-head is 2-2 as well. Yeah. That. And the last time they played, uh, Eager won. But the last I mean, time they played on clay, when was that? It was when she won Roland Garros. Yeah, remember they, remember they played in Roland Garros 2019. Hallop walloped her one and love. Then they played in Ronald Garros 2020 and Eager walloped her one and two. I think it's yeah, Eager, though, because... The, based on Derek in saying four, Eager has a horrible road. I mean, her yeah. draw is so tough. It's just a terrible one. She'd have preferred to have been at the bottom. Well, she wouldn't have been at the bottom, but she'd have preferred them players from the bottom in her heart. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm going to go Eager as well. Kalanina Alexandrova. So, I'm going to go Kalanina. For me, I've got Pagula Pliskova. I'm going Pagula. I think that's a matchup. Hasn't that happened a few times? But I can't think off the top of my head. Badoza Ribikina. Well, I'm going to go. Do it. I've got to do it. It's my world number one. So I'm going to yeah. go Badoza. She's a world number three, mate. Not world. That's my world number one. Yeah, but I'm just doing what you do. You have to do it. She's going to win it. Yeah, she's got to win. Um, Kazadkina Sabalenka. <laughs> I'm well, going to go I'm going Sabalenka. Sabalenka. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why. That's oh ooh, no. Right. These is where the big decisions have to be made. I've got Ons Jabur Nozkova. Nozkova. She could be getting a nosebleed at this stage. She's got very, very far. Seventeen years old. This has been a great success. I mean, what a great event she's had already. Beating Radu Khan, who Grand Slam yeah. champion, beating some big names to get here. Ons Jabur stepped too far. I'm gonna have Ons knocking her out. Oh. Poor old Noskova, but she had a good run while it lasted, at least, didn't she? Yeah, it's a great, great event for for Noskova. Well, Angelique Kerber, they've never played each other on clay courts before, these two, only on hard and on grass, and it was Kerber, the winning uh, player on both occasions. But oh, this God, time, Kerber. Ons is on big form. <laughs> she's just come out of the back of two finals. Surely she's going to continue the run. Okay. Oh, my word. So I've got Andreescu nah. Mukova. It's a lot Good. easier for me. I'm going to go Andreescu. Yeah, I was going to say, it makes it a lot easier for you. I think this is the one player in the whole thing, which I think everybody's sort of turning their, is turning heads, which is Andreescu. Like, what a crazy non-seeded player who's in form coming into this draw. This was the match I was fearing having to pick between. John Silk's probably already picked his one, I'm sure. Maria Sarkari. They're 1-1 in their head-to-head. -head. Probably means nothing. They were both on hard court. We do have Mark in the chat saying, Kerber's playing today. She won't be rested. Interesting point. Yeah, Cheers, Mark. quite possible. I think I'm going the same as you. I don't... The, what Sarkari did recently, where she fell apart in that match, was awful. Ben, just put her through. So I'm going to go... Don't do it, Ben. Don't do Mark. it. You don't want to do it deep down. 
Yeah, I, I do. I that actually hurts. Are... You. Listen, it does hurt a little bit inside. Not, not really. Right. I'm a bigger fan of Andreescu than I am of Sakri. I much prefer Andreescu. Yeah, but Sakri is your bracket girl. She's the one who ruins all my brackets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great. Well, <laughs> she's so the, one, she's the one deep in every one of your brackets. Exactly. So okay, what? Sarkri look how well I've done. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go Coco Goff here. Same. Defeat Elise Mertens. I think Defeat Mertens Bowles overstayed her welcome. And then down uh, the bottom. Teichman Krajikova. I'm going to go Krajikova. I've got Teichman. I'm going to have Niemeyer. She had a great run. She probably handed out a few more breadsticks and bagels along the way. Uh, but that's so we both put our them. number one qualified to watch into the round of 16. Yeah. So it definitely does have an impact on our selections. <laughs> then qualifies to watch. In the reigning <laughs> champion. <laughs> no. Outrageous decisions being made on my bracket. Right, back to the top again. Quarter final now. Quarter final time. And I'm gonna have Eager knocking out Kalanina. And I'm gonna have Eager knocking out Pagula. Badoza Sabalenka. Oh, my word. I'm gonna go Badoza. I'm not so sure. What are you looking but at the head to head? I always like to see their head to heads. I don't know. I just feel Sabalenka's not that same Sabalenka who's the misfiring server uh, from not too long ago. They played, well, they played re just recently in Stuttgart and Sabalenka beat her in straight sets. Yeah. I think Sabalenka. Ooh, big call. Ons Jabur, Andreescu. I'm going to have Ons Jabur. <sighs> I think... This is tough now. God, that was a horrible match. <laughs> oh, my word. I can see how mine's shaped up now. <laughs> I know <laughs> just your final is I already. See my, oh, I, can, I didn't realise it was going to go like this. I could predict it <laughs> before up. we started. But I don't think you can. I'm going to be having... I think I'm going to go for a punt. If you're going to win the $500, so you've got to go with it. I'm going to go Andreescu knocks out Ons Jabur. It's a bit of a mad one. A ballsy call. Uh, <laughs> could happen. I mean, I don't know if they've played before. Have they? I don't know. I can have a quick look. Would be interesting. We've got, you know, saying eager Jabur final. Let's just cut to the chase. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You say my brackets are boring. God, he has the same final every time. Well, we don't know it's that yet. We really don't. Let's have a look. Let's so, Ons to... leads it one love in the head to head. Okay. There you go. So, uh, so it that's... was in Montreal on hard court. Last one, Ben. Coco Goff, Krajikova. And you've got Coco Goff, Teichman. And I'm having Coco Goff going we through. Did, we did talk about this. Coco Goff, not in great form, but her draw here is really right. nice. She's got yeah. one, of, she's one of the best, I think the best draw out of everyone. Um, if she's playing well, she has a real chance of going so well. Like she could get to the final, man. She plays well. Oh, man, what an opportunity round. for her. <laughs> out really early and ruin all our brackets. I'm going to have Coco as well, knocking out Krachikova. Wow. <clears throat> so, Radio Coco. Champ out. She has to come of age at some point, Coco, in one of these Grand Slams. We're waiting for it. Right, I've lost the top of the draw now. Where is it? Okay, there I've it is. Saba versus well, we've seen this recently. <laughs> we saw how that match went. I feel like it's getting easier, my picks, as I go through. <laughs> I'm gonna have Eager beating Saba again, probably two and two. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm having Eager in the final, beating Badoza. And at the bottom, Jabur Coco Goff. And I've got have you got the same? No, you got, got Andrescu Coco Goff. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go Andrescu. It's a bit mad. I didn't expect this. And I'm going to go on Jabur. So, yeah, I, I'm going for Ons Jabur Eager. I mean, I can't help it. I just, I don't know what it is. It just, it seems to always happen. It doesn't matter what surface they're playing on. It doesn't matter where they're playing. I can't believe this is it. Just the of the... I, am I asleep still? I just this is just is the matchup right now. I enjoyed Rome. Oh, I thought word. Rome was class. And, um, yeah, I'm going for Eager versus Ons in the final. You've got Andreescu, Eager. Massive shock. <laughs> which would be great. Listen, I've got boring JGs in the live chat. Um, how do you see it going, Ben? Do you have Eager winning or Andreescu? Andreescu pushed her close. 
well in one set yeah but i feel like this when we go down the list after everyone's done their brackets i'm gonna be shocked if i don't see at least 75 percent eager picks like it's probably gonna be close well, i'm gonna to... put my number out i think it's gonna be 83 okay i'm i'm yeah that's quite a good one could be higher might be like 90 but i don't no, I think 83 percent of gtl fans will be picking eager to win this bracket and i'm going to be following them as well i'm going to have an eager beating on jabert in the final so there we have it ben and jg on game to love have both selected eager to keep the run going and win roland garros it's not a massive shock she is the big favorite I, i'd honestly just don't see her losing i mean it's a tough tough route the Halep yeah. one could be there's some tough ones along the way samson over Halep on jabert but those are potentially there's some tough matchups. But I'm going to be sticking with it on this one. It's cross courts coming, saying JG has become the thing he swore to destroy. <laughs> the boring JG has emerged. Yeah, well, oh, I mean, dear. listen, I love to see your one cross court tennis. Please send them in on Discord Ooh, and I'll have a little look. Like it. Yeah, send um, it in. Hoping you got what? Well, you got Kalanina winning the whole thing, maybe? Someone well, excited? Got some Polish love there. We got Iga, Yazda yeah, there. Two Yazdas. That's it. And Mark giving a bit of eager love as well there. Great to see. Uh, I'm hoping it happens. I've like sort of set my stall out from the start of the draw preview. The yeah. only thing that I wasn't sure is how the other side got on and who got there. I didn't really have a clue. You can see Andriescu. If she gets to the final of the French, that's going to be an amazing tournament for her. I really hope it happens. That would be probably the final I'd want to see. In terms of dark courses, I think well, I'm not going to take your one. I would love what to have mean? my dark course as Andriescu as well. Um, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? I did too. You're going to take my one. No, I'm not going to take your one. Oh, I'm saying I'm going to let you have Andriescu because you've got her in the final. Uh, being very polite and cottage. Uh, That's very word? nice of you. Just very, very kind. I'm going to take Cassid Keener instead as my dark course. She's. Mm, I've got her going all right. <laughs> Kerber. <laughs> no, I like it. a bit of... Cassid Keener. Mm. <laughs> She's going to win then, the whole thing. If, if she does go out early, then John has to then take the mick out of my qualifier to what? Or my dark horse. But I like hearing him say Cassid Keener, so it's a win-win. It, does, it is a win-win. And Almino saying, you were the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy the boring picks, not join them. Oh, everyone's I mean, I tried. on this one, mate. I really tried. Um, Lexi said, and I want the mean JG back. <laughs> <laughs> listen i don't know it is what it is uh nozkova is obviously a close call as well for being my dark horse but she's a number one qualified to watch so she's already got that title so i'll stick with kassad kina and that concludes our draw preview Woo. that was fun Enjoyed anything left that. to say ben no Happy with your just... picks uh yeah why not on the women's it's a bit of a free-for-all anyway i'm just hoping that the one person who does uh remain in good form is eager i would love to see her win roland garros this year and just keep that run going and maybe she can create your amazing prediction and get all the way and lose to ostapenko at wimbledon <laughs> if that happens then there's something weird going on in the matrix yeah anyway thank you everyone for watching if you haven't already hit the like button it really does help us on game to love to move through the algorithms uh so like the video subscribe if you're new and join us tomorrow roland garros commences 10 a.m we're gonna be there it's all kicking off you don't want to miss it ben's gonna <laughs> try and make a promo <laughs> we're gonna do our best but listen, it's going to be an exciting tournament. We've got the men's and the women's. We'll be covering as much as possible. So thanks for joining, guys. And we'll see you in Paris. See you there, guys. Not literally. <laughs>